We are in the heart of Central Oregon, where adventure lives. Welcome to the best of Bend, home to some of the best outdoor sports in the country. From hiking the dry lands, to snowboarding Mount Bachelor, and even catching waves in the Deschutes River. But it goes much further than that. We haven't even started to talk about the food and beer. Bend, Oregon is a strong standing beer capital of the good old United States, boasting the most breweries per capita anywhere in the country. Absolutely one of the best kept secrets in America. And to the locals in Bend, eh, I'm sorry to blow the lid off this one. We've proudly partnered with Visit Central Oregon and the beautiful Pine Ridge Inn to show you how to bend the right way. We've got all kinds of surprises lined up for you along the way. Plus special guests like NFL legend Kevin Boss. Lace up those adventure boots tight because this one is literally out of this world. You are tuned in to the Charlie Boot Show's Best of Band. <laughs> Yeah, man. We're getting this party started at the top of Mount Bachelor with our friends at Ten Barrel Brewing. Once a year, they throw a crazy party that brings out some of the top snowboarders around. We're starting at Hella Big Air 2019. Plus all the great food and beer at Ten Barrel Brewing's Westside Pub. Folks, we are here, top of Mount Bachelor, and we're here with Andy Goggins, head of marketing, 10 barrel beer. Andy, how are you? Oh, it couldn't be better. The sun is out, beer is flowing, people are going big at the hell of big air. It couldn't be better here at Mount Bachelor. How long does it take to put this together? Luckily, we have a great mountain to partner with at Mount Bachelor that create a huge 65-footer uh, hell of big air jump. So we just bring the party with all the beer down here at the base village. to bring the party. <laughs> the dogs are all over the place. I think it's just part of the culture of Central Oregon and Bend in Oregon. There's, uh, everybody's got dogs, a Subaru or a Toyota around here. It's, it's, uh, it's part of your, your kit when you move to Bend, I think. And you a get a barrel beer gets put in your hand. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Well, cheers from Ben. Thank you for having us. Yeah, well, let's go check out the pub. Out. A little while away is Ten Barrel Brewing's West Side Pub, the original pub and place where this whole Ten Barrel Brewing experience started. We were starving after a day on Mount Bachelor, and the Ten Barrel Brewing team took care of us. We hit some of the Ten Barrel musts, like the oyster shooters and bratwurst to kick it off. And then we finished with their famous bar pies fish and chips, and the steak salad. In honor of a big pile of snow, you gotta take it home with the warm cookie and that Mount Bachelor lump of vanilla ice cream on top. And that, my friends, is how you properly kick off the best of Bend. Next up, we're gonna show you some of the fine dining Bend has to offer at Boss Taurus with NFL alumni, Kevin Boss. But first, I gotta go check into my new job. Hey guys, didn't see you there. I'm just stocking some of the new releases. If you didn't know, Bend, Oregon is also home to the last blockbuster on Earth. Be sure to pay us a visit when you're in town. We'll get back to blockbusters in a little bit, but all that rewinding has got my appetite tugging at the leash. We gotta head over to Boss Taurus. Boss Taurus sits right in the heart of Bend, but it could be in the heart of LA or Midtown Manhattan with the quality of food they're putting out. Led by executive chef George Morris, Boss Taurus attracts a local, loyal, and celebrity crowd. They only work with the freshest ingredients, and I gotta say, this is hands down one of the best steakhouses I've ever eaten at in my entire life. Let's get into it. So folks, we're here at the best of Bend, and we brought the big man from Bend out. Kevin, how are you? Good, man. Thanks for having me, Charlie. Uh, I think it's appropriate that we get the blue bowl. Yes. The New York Giants pride here. There you go. I like that. You were playing in Manhattan. You had yeah. all the best restaurants <laughs> in the world. Did it amaze yeah. you to see the kind of quality restaurants yeah. here? Yeah, no, I'm definitely a foodie. Um, yeah. You know, so every time we go back to New York, it's like, 
our whole itinerary is scheduled around <laughs> like what restaurants we want to go Bulk to. Bulk season yeah. four. <laughs> exactly. So, yeah, we'll you know we'll go to multiple dinners. We'll start at like five o'clock and we'll go, to, <laughs> and then we'll at nine o'clock we'll go to the next dinner. So that's something we definitely miss in New York. But yeah. having restaurants like this is you know. It's pretty unique that a smaller Absolutely. town can attract such awesome restaurants. Chef, <laughs> oh my going? God. First of all, we just tried the steak. That was incredible. Awesome. Out of this world, one of the best steaks I've ever had in my life. Um, Thank you. What is this uh, magic experiment we got here? <laughs> <laughs> this is our foie gras terrine. So it's a Hudson Valley foie gras. You know, with pears being in season right now, we wanted to kind of highlight the pears. What's going on here is that this is under a veil of maple wood smoke, um, which we will impart uh, a maple wood smoke flavor into the dish. You could smell it. Oh, um, dude, it's beautiful. Yeah, and uh, so it actually smokes on the way out of the table, and then when we set it down in front of the guests, <laughs> um, wow. basically the dish appears. Oh, and with that bread and our training from Boss Sports Performance, the faux gras was not there for long. But Boss Taurus will be a long-standing name in Bend, Oregon, just like the next stop on our tour. Right up the block, we're headed to the Deschutes Brewery. Named after Ben's pride, the Deschutes River that tears right through the center of town, Deschutes Brewery is a big reason that Bend, Oregon is the beer capital of the United States of America. One thing that may surprise you is aside from the incredible beer that the Deschutes Brewery produces and ships out nationwide, they also have some incredible food. The burger was a slugger and the salmon incredible, but that burger, that was a real soul snatcher. Look at this, snatched my soul right out. That's all right, because we are in food and beer heaven here at the Deschutes Brewery. Let's take a ride down the river. I think it's safe to say I'm officially in love with Central Oregon. The Deschutes Brewery is something special, and if you thought that was good, you're in for a treat. Our friends at Visit Central Oregon said that we had to check out Worthy Brewing. And trust me, it's out of this world, all pun intended. So picture you're an alien living in another galaxy. In all your life, you dream about going to the best brewery in all the galaxies. Well, here is Earth's number one candidate. They're putting Earth first and beer second, growing their own hops, and even building a hotel for the insects. Nothing can compare to Worthy Brewing's Observatory. That's right, the brewery and restaurant features a NASA grade telescope. And we got to look all the way into the Milky Way, even beyond our galaxy. We are here with the observatory manager, Grant. Grant, thank you for having us. Absolutely. Yeah, glad to have you by. Uh, I cannot believe what we have here. We came in for good beer and good food, and now we're sitting here staring at other galaxies. When you heard of the concept, what did you think? I, I was just blown away by the, the idea to have it in here in town. You know, there's right. no Bend-based observatories. There's a co couple local ones outside of town, but it was a really cool idea to put it here in town because we knew we could reach a lot of people and really try to inspire people to look up and enjoy our night sky and the place that we live in the cosmos. The food is smelling great. The beer is tasting even better. You'd have to be crazy to not jump in on this leg of the tour. Welcome to the Worthy Brewing Company. Daniel, first of all, thank you for getting me suited out, right? Looks great on you, man. Yeah, I gotta yeah. rep the team properly. We love it. Tell us a little bit about the cuckoo wood. The cuckoo <laughs> wood. Yeah, uh, you see the Jack Nicholson cuckoo bird everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, all the lumber you see in the building, it's all recycled lumber from the Oregon State Hospital. One flew over the cuckoo's nest, so. <laughs> we love <laughs> we love Ken Kesey here. Uh, his work's always great, and it's just another super cool, unique thing to have where Absolutely. you can just walk in and see your cuckoo wood everywhere. How far can this big boy see? Well, so this telescope, the farthest object that I viewed visually was a quasar that was at a distance of 8.6 billion light years. Sheesh. 
After the stargazing, Grant took us down to the main dining room where he announced to the crowd that the observatory was open for business. And when the crowd rushed up to see the stars, we rushed down to see the menu. We tried Worthy's pizza, salmon, and very popular fried chicken sandwich, which were all shining stars. Everything here at Worthy's out of this world. Grant, thank you so much. Absolutely. Folks, you could get them fresh right here at the tap room. And guess what? Some more is brewing up right behind us. <laughs> <laughs> Truly a special place. Thank you, brother. Absolutely. Well, America, this is it. Here we are in the Milky Way galaxy at the last blockbuster on Earth, right here in Bend, Oregon. And if you want to do your good work and keep it open, all you got to do is head over to Blockbuster Bend on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and you can get yourself a piece of rare, collectible merchandise. Are you freaking serious? It just seems like every time since I started working here, all I'm doing is cleaning up after Charlie. Like, who does this? And then he leaves this here, like... This has been some trip through Central Oregon, but it's not over. We know the rules, best for last. So we're bringing you one of Ben's most awarded restaurants. Welcome to the Brick House. Some of the brickwork inside Brick House dates back to the 1920s. This building used to be the Ben Fire Department. Now it's home to one of the top wine selections and finest foods in Ben. That's the band. Here we are at the Brick House, and we have the creative director, Chef. What do we have here in front of us? Uh, well, first of all... What don't here... we have here in front of us? <laughs> exactly. We wanted to give you the best of the best. So we have a chipino here, which is basically just a seafood stew. It's a seafood stock-based tomato sauce. Here we have a filet gorgonzola which is a filet tenderloin topped with our house-made gorgonzola butter. Uh, here we have big eye tuna, bahi, from Hawaii. We usually fly in from Hawaii, wow. so we get it like three or four times a week. And here we have a Kurabuda pork asabuco. Oh my served God. Served with polenta, mm -hmm. the marionberry demi. Mm -hmm. The fresh of the fresh. Now, what makes Definitely. Brickhouse one of the best of Ben? I'd say it's the product that we bring in because we're really uh, good about bringing um, locally sourced and fresh. Uh, everything's fresh that we get. It's super, it's a really high standard that we have here, so. Absolutely. Oh, Chef, thank you so much. <laughs> yep, thank you. Guys, Chef was not messing around. Everything in here, the best of Ben. Cheers to the Brick House. And I'm sad to say that will do it for the best of Ben. Thank you to all our partners on the trip. Check in with our friends at Visit Central Oregon. They'll help you get everything laid out. And I already know you'll be staying with our friends at the Pine Ridge Inn. Nothing better. Special thanks to Ten Barrel Brewing, the Shoots Brewery, and the Worthy Brewing Company as well as Boss Taurus and Brick House. The best of Bend was truly unforgettable. Subscribe to the channel for all our exclusives so you don't miss a beat. And I'll be seeing you over there. Cheers. Charlie, literally we've been looking for you all over in there. This is your third hour break. Honestly, you were jamming me up. I said I needed a little break. I had to get some air. Charlie, you've been outside for an hour. We need help with the restocks. It's I'm, getting crazy in there. I'm, look, I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. I got your name breathing down my neck. Everybody's giving me a hard time in there, and it's my first day. Uh, right. Charlie, this, you've literally been on break longer than you've worked consecutively, all right? Get, get inside. You know what? Actually, get out. Give me your badge. What? You're fired. What? You... My friend, what? hit the road. You're fired here. No. 
No. 